Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yes, we are here today to work out together. I love when you guys sending me the message and saying, are we ready? We are ready. We are ready to start. So let's do this. Today is going to be a strength, strength workout. Uh, remember, the sessions are free. We pump them every single day, Monday through Friday. Sometimes you get a extra session during the weekend crazy stuff going on every single day so make sure that you're inviting your friends your relatives tag them in a post write it down where you're coming from this is important for me hello and i see another person here so let's start a 60 minutes of workout today what you need it's dumbbells uh, maybe you have kettlebells at home uh, and and bands so if you don't have the bands, it's so it's okay, you're gonna make it work with the dumbbells, right? So we're gonna start with stretching with the stretch strap today. We have a lot of to cover, so let's do this. Sometimes we do the standing, sometimes we're doing laying down on the floor. So we're gonna start today. Now remember, we always talk about stretching, work, <laughs> getting your yourself ready before the workout. This is very important. You should never ever start your workout without any proper preparation preparation is active stretching getting the body to move getting the body to work and that's what's very important i love this band i love this stretch strap it really helps with hamstrings with glutes so it's really awesome just follow me engage your abs and as you see me pausing for a second right that toe is down when i stretch we're gonna extend the other leg and we're gonna bring this leg out. Now think about it, where do you really, when do you really stretch like this? Stretching your inner thighs. Those inner thighs are always tight. We forget about them, but they are tight. So we're gonna bring that leg up and down. This is gonna give us a good range of motion here, a few times. Of course, if you're gonna have more time, you can do this for a longer period of time. We're gonna do this quickly now. I'm gonna come across right now. So your right shoulder, right arm is on the floor, right leg is up in the air, toes are down, and you coming across with that with that leg, right? Trying not to rotate as much, trying to keep that hand on the floor. When you keep your hand on the floor and that leg goes across, you're gonna feel a good stretch running from the front of your shoulder all the way down to the elbow. Now let's say it sideways. The great idea is to keep the bottom leg bent. We're gonna bring it over the shoulder and then kick it forward. And again, over the shoulder and kick it forward. I see you guys on Instagram right now. And we are on Facebook as well. And if you are on Facebook, make sure that you checking the Instagram page, PKZKNY, also about that Eckert one, and see that Eckert one because we run these sessions in all these different platforms, all these different devices all the time. You want to make sure that you're following us everywhere. Good. Bring that leg up and down. Now, who is, whose hamstrings are tight? If you're sitting a lot, the same with walking a lot, these hammies will get tight. Your calves. So ours are tight after the session yesterday really session was crazy if you haven't done it replay it from yesterday bring those toes down yes up and down good bring it down hold it there deep breath in and exhale now get that leg out again same way 90 degrees you can extend the other leg when you feel comfortable you're gonna pull that leg a little bit out try to keep both shoulders on the floor right now we're gonna bring it up and down slowly now when you bend that leg it actually controls the other one when you have this one extended you have less of a control so just be careful going down and up with that leg now extend this leg and switch your hands the other hand should be on the floor now remember what i told you you don't want to lift that hand off the floor you want to have it glued to the floor oh yeah now we're gonna hit that lower back and some of you are asking me where to get this stretch strap. Amazon, that's where, or perform better. You know, you can get those anywhere nowadays. Some stores even provide them. 
Good. Nice. Stay, stay sideways. Bring it over the shoulder. Look how awesome. Some of you cannot bring your your leg into the glute, right? You you have a trouble bringing it. This actual band is gonna help you to do that. So push your hips forward by pulling over the shoulder, over my hand, head. I I'm keeping it. This is such a good stretch here. You will never feel this standing like this. You will never get the same stretch as doing it sideways with that band. So this one gets like a very deep, strong stretch right here. And time, we're not gonna go anymore. Let's do this. Now, this, this band can be also used for upper body. Look, just bringing arms over, over like this, up and over. You should all have this range of motion. That's a safe range of motion. Yes, but not everybody can do this. Who is with me this morning? Joe, good morning. Good morning, guys. Well, good morning here. It's uh, 8 a.m. here. It depends where you're coming from, right? Where are you located? Write it down. Good, now we're gonna go up and over. How are you going to stretch here? You're going to slide that hand down towards the knee and you're going to reach the opposite arm up and over. So just like this, it's not going to give you enough. But when you press and slide and reach this one over your head, that's when you're going to feel it. Really good stretch on the sides. That's what you want to do. Yes. And let's do alternating toe touches a little bit right here. Fold the shoulders. Stay low. Go side to side. Good, and rotate your shoulders forward. Sometimes we do the bend warm up, the rotator cuff, all these different directions forward. Sometimes we just gonna pump those arms in and out and just warm them up right here. Who is with me, Anthony? Good. All right, guys, so again, dumbbells, let's get ready. If you have a bench, that's awesome. If you don't have a bench, you can use also the stability ball. Stability ball is a great way of getting this uh, to work too. I have two different benches, so we're gonna set those up. Oh, nice and warm from the sun. I love it. All right, so we're gonna use a flat one and we're gonna use an incline one. So get it up, set it up, set it up. Yes, you wanna set it up. So get ready with your dumbbells. This one I think we have to use it in a flat one. This one is giving a little hard time this bench right now. So I'm gonna use this one. here with me we're gonna pop straight through the list okay so we're gonna stay with me just make sure that you have those set up step something to me to do the dips on and you are all set all right so let's do this we're gonna start with chest press on the bench look Again, if you're staying on the ball, keep your head and shoulders on, on the ball. Otherwise, you're going on the bench with me. Let's do this. And you're gonna switch when I'm switching, okay? So chest is out, full control over the arms, over the shoulders. The dumbbells don't need to meet, but they come close together. As you see, I have those arms a little bit on the angle here. Deep breath in and exhale. You don't want to drop the arms, you want to control it. Deep breath in and squeeze, exhale. There you go, keep that wrist straight. 
you want to activate the chest. So we want to stick the chest out. It should not be a maximum amount of weight that you're lifting right now. You should be able to do 15 to 20 reps with increasing that heart rate. So it shouldn't be like, oh, you're gonna do 20 and you should go another 20. No, at that 20, you should already feel it. So this is a first round, starting first round. All right, right into bend over row. This one you can change also the dumbbells. I'm not gonna go into heavy immediately. Bend over row with the dumbbells. So we're gonna lean forward at 45 degree angle right here, and you're gonna pump those arms. So squeezing the shoulder blades together and activating your core, glutes, hamstrings, breathing up as you're bringing the arms up. Elbows are leading. And again, you don't wanna go just like this without any control. You wanna control, squeeze the bicep. Squeeze the tricep. And back is straight. I am not rounding my back also. And time. I told you the clothes will be coming off very quickly because it's getting hot immediately. Yes, we're going right into a squat. Now, first squat, what I like to do is to do body weight. But you might be a person that's gonna go immediately into squatting with a dumbbell. Now, if you do that, please don't go into a very heavy load because you wanna warm up still your knees and your hips. If you're using squats into your warm up, that might be it. That might be enough and you can pump these squats. So deep breath in and exhale. I'm gonna show you sideways, of course, because some of you are trained to squat, so look, this is a great way of learning how to squat. You have a bench behind you, look, and you're standing up. So activating hamstrings, squats, glutes, and abs. When you think about it, when you're squatting, the abs are being activated. So for new people, right? If you already know how to squat, you're just gonna pump keeping those knees in line with your Ankles, time. Now we're gonna go right into a bench press. Chest press right here. We're gonna start with a little lighter. Guys, just my advice, get yourself ready. Buy the equipment, be set up at home. You can follow along these workouts. Chest is out, you see my one leg is forward, one leg is slightly behind, both legs are slightly bent. I am not rounding my upper back. I can keep keeping my back straight. This is great. This is continuous. Like the first one should be almost feeling like an extension of the warm up. And we're gonna pump it up and go faster, of course. Now, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna go bend over roll. So now with the bends right now, we follow in the motion that we did with the dumbbells, right? So look, we're stepping over the bend. Legs should be like shoulder width apart. And I'm going to stay right here and squeeze my arms. So now if you have a single bend, you can do the same. You can have literally handles and pulling it in. You can bring your hands a little bit more in to have a better grip. Perfect, now you're gonna feel this in your abs, hamstrings, back. And again, you wanna slowly go down, you wanna control the bend, not the bend is controlling you. Yes, 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 pump it. And time, we're gonna go right into a squat. So look, single bend. Now I'm going, I'm stretching a little bit, but not too much because if I'm gonna pull, it's gonna be light resistance. I wanna have that resistance. I'm gonna bring it over my shoulder. There are different ways of holding it. You can have your hands here, hold it. I like it like this. Just pull it away from my neck so I'm not gonna choke. 
And I'm gonna have a resistance squat right here, nice and easy. Boom. Keep on going. I want you guys to squat nicely. There you go, right here. Deep breath in and exhale. Pump that squat. Activate your glutes, quads, hamstrings. Strong. On a tight, tight, tight. Next one, we're gonna use a heavier band. So it's gonna become a little harder, right? Okay, now we're gonna go over in the, into the incline with the bench. So I'm gonna set up my bench at 45. Make sure that the bench is stable, right? Yes. And get your dumbbells. Now you can use the same one as you did into a flat press right here. And again, about the chest. So back to dumbbells. You see we're going straight through. There's a lot of different exercises here. So just stick around with me. Follow with me and you guys are in, on Instagram. You want to join the session? Just send me an invite and I'm going to clip you right here. And you can work out with me. Up to three people right now can be in the room with you, which is great. All right, no talking. Strong. Power guys. Who is training with me? Write it down. Or maybe you're going to do this later. Ah, nice work. All right, bicep curl right here. We're gonna set later. We're gonna go into a regular full bicep curl right here. Shoulders back, chest is out, like this. All right, and we're gonna curl these dumbbells and lower them down. So again, controlling, right? Squeezing, breathing. <sighs> Inhale. A lot of people always make mistakes with breathing, holding the breath, not breathing correctly. You wanna always have inhale with the beginning of the movement. Exhale when you lift, taking the time right here. Squeezing, controlling, contracting. Let's do this. Daily workout. How awesome. Every single day. Different workout. Let's do this, let's do this a few more times. I'm struggling with you, you're struggling with me. We're building the muscle and time. But the key is to eat right, right? Now deadlift, let's get the kettlebell. If you do not have a kettlebell, you can simply have a one dumbbell right in between your legs. So the dumbbell can go that way or you can have both dumbbells that will represent like a suitcase lift, okay? So look, the proper way of doing deadlift is to stay a foot away from your wall and you're gonna fold back with your glutes. That's when you know when you're going down, the glutes touching the wall, you know that you are in a perfect angle, all right? Because deadlift is one of the hardest moves for people People don't do it correctly. They are squatting instead of deadlifting. It's a pull motion. Look, guys. I'm going to show you sideways. You see how I'm leaning forward? I'm hinging through the hips, but my body stays straight. So I'm hinging going this way, but my hips and my glutes going that way. So forward and up. And that's when you're going to feel in your hamstrings and your glutes because that's the motion for, right? It's a motion for <sighs> hamstrings, glutes, so much core, so much abs here. You can't even realize unless you're gonna think about it. I feel it all here. Of course, your arms, your shoulders, front of the shoulders working too. Squeeze it. Pump it. Oh yeah. 
working out together. Let's do this. What are you guys up to anyway? Is anybody working out with me here? Once we're gonna get to the end of the list, I can come up, look at the screen, see what's happening with you guys. Bend coming up. And time. Bend. Bend. Overhead press. You're gonna stay right in the center. Right here. Let's do this. Pump it right here. Pumping the arms. We're almost there. Then we're gonna go into overhead presses with dumbbells after. But first we gotta do bicep with the band and deadlift with the band. You're gonna learn so many motions here. You can go a little slower. Look, full arm extension, lower it down. Nice and controlled motion here. And we wanna go for higher repetitions today. But look, some people say, oh, I want higher and they go with very light weight. So they don't even feel anything. So it has to be light enough, but to give you a challenge. Ah, that hurt in a good way. Bicep curl. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna fold this right here. I have a two little balls right with me. Look, that's it. Pump it. You can hold it also like this, but then the bend kind of goes up and down. So I like it, hold it here so it's a less right in front of my face, less of a bend. Because now it goes up and down, shoulders back, chest is out. We are pumping. So good posture. Elongate through the spine. There you go, stay long. Stay long, be like a stretch. You gotta stretch yourself. In the workouts and in life, we don't stretch ourselves enough. But it's time, guys. It's time to step up the game. Go pump it, pump it with me. You're not done. That a little moment of struggle if you and you want to quit. Right now we're talking, but next round we're not going to be talking. We're going to concentrate. Because you see, I am out of breath. Deadlift. Both, both legs. Similar to bent over row. And a bent over row, it's a half a deadlift, pretty much. That's what it is. But now, look, you're going down and up. With bent over row, you would stay and you work on your arms. But... The glutes, the abs, the hamstrings still working because they are holding that position. So now it's active, active. Instead of more passive, we're going down and up. Yeah. So you're training now both movements in a bend over row, halfway, and standing up, dead left. Oh, yeah. Now you want to make it tighter? You literally will pull a little bit of that band in between your legs and look what a resistance created from a lighter band. So look, you're pulling, you're standing up, keeping those shoulders in, engaging arms. Everything is tight here, strong. Oh yeah, you wanna feel it, like you wanna feel it that you're really working that the heart rate is going up. And time overhead press with the dumbbell. So this was lower. Of course, if you feel a little thirst going on, sip of water and then you go in, okay? You don't need to take a whole minute break. You're just sipping water and you go in. So look, 90 degree angle, shoulders back, chest is up. You do not go lower down with your dumbbells here. This is a different press. This press, have to stop here and finish over there. Right here, not here, all right? Don't look up, you're looking straight ahead. 90, 
So you see when I say 90 you're engaging, that's what it is. Yes. My legs are shaking already. From all this straight through around. Ha! Ah. Dips. Dips. You can do this on the bench, on a step, whatever you have there. Now, the whole goal, I'm gonna leave that step up for here. I'm gonna pull this one out a little bit. So don't go with dips if you know this. Do them right now. Look, back straight, chest is out. Legs can be bent or extend, but back, sh back should be close towards the bench. I see this all the time on YouTube videos and co coaching. No, shoulders back, chest is out, going straight down and up. That back has to be very close towards the bench. As you see, this is so much instructions here but we want you to do it correctly. Like think about any sport that you learn, how to do it. There is technique, right? There, is, there, are, there are steps to do something, a movement. The same here, you wanna do it correctly. Oh, and time, Woo. those dips got me. Step up. We're gonna take the dumbbells in our hands. Where's my 15s on both? And we're just gonna go step up, step down. You can have a higher step. You can have a lower step. Alternate your legs, okay? Left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. If for any reason you can't do this, stick to the same leg, and then you're gonna switch the leg Next round, just remember which leg you're going. Shoulders back, chest is out, those dumbbells are along the side, but listen, forearms are working. Because you're holding the grip right here. Squeeze, step up. Now, some of you maybe have a higher step. It's okay, don't take even the load. Learn and see how your body feels into that higher step up without any load. And if you can't do it, your lower back is fine. Get the dumbbells in your hands. And let's go. Sometimes you can just lower down the step and get a heavier load and you're gonna have a great workout right there. See, I'm not going on the highest one because I'm modifying for my hip, but I'm getting a load here. So load a little lower and it's all good. I'm still feeling it, I'm still working. Shoulders back, chest is out. You just gotta keep moving. And time. Look, we got, we got to the end of the round. Adjustment happens now. Getting heavier dumbbells, thinking about what you can do on the heavier side. Still keeping the high count, all right? I see Kathy, Mirna, Anthony, Joe, nice guys. How are you doing? Hello, Pamela. Oh, I see a couple of you. I'm a creep and I love to wave. Pre-workout. So good. So good because it's a concoction. It's like so good that you want to drink it. Mm-hmm. Herbalife and a splash of some truly in there. So, listen, stretch, after stretching. One leg is on top of the step, we stre we're stretching hamstrings. You can hold it. Make sure that you're facing forward the same direction. Look, back is straight. Look, some of you will do this, like this. No, lean forward, back is straight, extend. There you go, hold it, hold it, hold it, stretch. You know why hamstrings are tight? Ah, because if you're sitting a lot, that will be tight. That's how you need to pay attention to make your glutes stronger and stretch your hamstrings. Now, with the, ham, with the whole deadlift, it's obviously hamstrings activation. We going again. I'm gonna be less talking here for the whole, whole part of 
left thing I want to be trying to count in my head. You count it too. All right, let's get a heavier dumbbells. We're gonna still keep that count 15 to 20. You're gonna wait till I call a switch, got it? Let's do this peak freaks. If you with me, you are a peak freak. If you with me, let's do this. Pump it. Again. Tight and strong. Ah. Oh, we did it. Twenty. Nice and strong. Awesome. Bend over roll immediately. Let's do this. Lean forward. body weight stay on TRX as well so now I'm gonna be teaching you a little bit more on TRX these sessions are mostly in the morning so it has to be bright enough outside so I can get you guys the TRX super cool exercises with TRX we combine TRX and dumbbells TRX and kettlebells all together Fun workouts. Squat engaged. Glutes, hamstrings. Nice and low. Go low. Hold that dumbbell in front of you. You can go heavier, please. Go heavier. Right here, bicep is working. Tricep. Oh yeah. Bend press coming up. Chest press, so get ready. Time. Chest press. Get heavier bent. Get heavier bent. A little heavier, unless you don't have one. I'm gonna use the yellow one. And we're gonna pump it right here. Oh yeah, much heavier. Chest is out. Refer to all these points that I gave you before. Struggle. Uh, yes.
Nice work. Stand up, squat. I'm gonna get a heavier bend right here. Heavier one, staying right on top. Bringing that bed over. You see how I'm lifting it over? Some of you can hold it here. You can go over the shoulders, like me. Of course, if you're holding like this, more of the bicep will have to carry. The same like with a squat, think about it. These things matter. Engage your glutes, engage your quads. Again, again. I almost found my ass behind me. <laughs> I felt that moment coming. Balance. Yes. Time. So it's a total body, guys. Total body movement. Incline. Incline. Press. Chest press, dumbbells. Go get it. Go get it. You can try to use the same one as you had on the flat one. Chest. Oh, yeah. Go above the chest, not above the head. going ah yourself actually more mind than anything that your muscle your mind has to go first think about it you cannot go with another rep before you mentally gonna get it right guys everything really in life starts with your mind remember this the, the, the weight loss it's all about self-control and this all can be learned. A lot of you think and doubt because you doubt yourself so much, you can't even start. So it's a process of learning and that's what peak performance coaching, which is us, operate to dominate is all about. Look, I coach one-on-one -on -one people. We have weekly calls or monthly calls. Some of them work out, some of them, they do other things and it's okay, but you can have a package of all workouts and, and mindset, nutrition, everything together. So it really depends what you're looking for. Because this right here, this is an hour of your day. What happens in your 23 hours, there is no accountability to, nobody's checking on you. But imagine if you would have someone that would check you. This is not the old peak that we used to have. This is a new system. It was never done before. It's a new thing. And you can't compare it to what it was. It's a totally new system that we have created, developed over course of training for 20 years and realizing that workouts is just the one speck of the spectrum, all right? Deadlift. We're gonna pump up that weight. We gotta kill the inner bitch. Who has that one? What do you 
what do you call it? What is your villain? Everybody has one. Don't think that you don't have double personality at some point. Come on. The other one comes out, always talks to you that you can't do something. But you can. You just gotta work on that character of strength and capability. The one that will be motivated, the one that knows how to do it, the one that is brave, courageous, influential, stubborn to some degree, has no ego, loves to learn, and is not afraid of trying. That's the character you gotta build today. Ah! I'm killing right now my inner bitch. Ah! It's not talking to me yet. Ah. Now think about it. It just happens to some of us just here and there. But some of you just totally went into the defeat mode and you let the other character take over. The one that is just always negative, always, always against you. The one that tells you eat bad food, don't work out. You too lazy, you too this. Guys, this has to stop today. Work with me, work with me. I distracted you here. Ah, time. Bend overhead. Are we rolling? We are rolling. All right. So, my question is to you today what kind of challenge are you going to take upon? What is the challenge that is going to be for you? Have you done any challenge recently? Have you been challenged? Think about it. Workouts is challenge. It's a daily challenge. Not only on your physical, but on your mind. Those who do, they feel better. And you agree with me because those who work out, they feel better. Press it, press it. But then there are people that work out daily and they still struggle with nutrition. They still struggle with mindset. So now they have to take what they do in that hour and apply to other areas of their life. Ah! <sighs> Bicep curl, you should be out of breath. You should be sweating. I really want to take this off. That's how it feels. But no, 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 you're not going to get that privilege today. Ha! <sighs> Pump it. California is hot today. Let's do this. Pump it up. Shoulders back, chest out. Now I'm gonna give all the ladies out there a little tip for today. Check out the No Excuses Facebook page. Because it's Wednesday, I go live. I teach you a lot of good stuff. Today I'm gonna teach you and explain to you what happens when you, <clears throat> you really not a morning person, you really don't get enough sleep. And you tell me, some people start like this, oh, I'm not a morning person. Let's get dive, let's dive into it. Let's just dissect this into pieces. <sighs> All right, so stay tuned with me today at 2.15 Pacific, every Wednesday, <sighs> because I gave you a lot of tips. Episode number 17. In 17 weeks, we divided and I taught you so many lessons that some of you who are really, really thinking this through and applying a huge change for you. 
but you need to listen. This knowledge has to be applied. Because so what? That you listen, that you check. Some of you go from side to side, stretch, you know, go into YouTube, listen, look, try to find out the golden goose. And you have some knowledge, but it has no impact on your life. You don't apply it. You don't follow. So what's good at that knowledge? That's like a waste of time. You got to do it. Learn it and do it. That lift, that lift. You see, I am with the heavier band. Pump it up. So I'm hinging the same way. I'm hinging the same way. Lean forward, stand up. Lean forward, stand up. Have you ever wondered why in commercial gyms people always look the same? If you go there and pay attention, stay aware. You see the same people maybe coming at the same time. Now, obviously nowadays the capacity is different. <sighs> but they all look the same. Why is that? There's absolutely no accountability. First of all, the workouts are too easy, not hard enough. People don't push themselves enough because they don't know how to. So that's why you, you gotta have a coach. Let's do this. Overhead press is coming up. At this point, it's burned to the bone. Yes, overhead presses, my friends. Oh. This gonna suck. <laughs> Embrace the suck factor. We're going. Three, two, one. Let's do this. We got this. yourself there dips oh we're gonna be clapping at the end oh yes oh, pump it dips remember back is straight shoulders back and down squeeze it If you have a low one or heavy, just kind of pay attention, of course, to your body. Safety is first, but you need to be challenged. Oh. All right, increase 10 pounds, 10 pounds total, 20 in each hand. Let's do this. We step it. Oh, yeah. question for you why you have not been challenging yourself why are you afraid of failing that's what it is because challenge requires figure things out right going extra mile pushing a little harder and you are afraid of what being afraid that you're not gonna make it that you're not gonna do it and then you feel bad about it why are you not doing any challenge why are you not challenging yourself hard enough We gotta go, we gotta move, we're stepping up. We're not stopping yet, no, no, no. See, my breathing is heavier. 
arms are falling apart. But I'm still going. Yeah, I'm still going. One more, one more. And time. Bringing for a second. Concentrating on that breathing. All right? Concentrating on the breathing. Maeva. Oh, I see a friend from abroad. Nice, Pato Cortez. Let me see if I can read that name. Alexandra in Russian. Boro. Chokab, but a chokab. I used to read that. I used to know the whole alphabet. Whew. In Poland, and age of how old I was? Twelve, I think. Yeah. We had to study every single day. Russian at school. Pamela, hundred percent. Hello, freaks. What are you guys up to? Who's working out with me? Listen, on Instagram, if you're not joining me here right now, I don't know if you're working out. That doesn't count. I need to see you on the screen. It doesn't count. <clears throat> yeah, I need to see you on the screen. So you better, you better send me an invite so I can add you in. Oh, you guys would be tortured in person too. Don't you worry, we're going. I'm talking about this, not any other torture. Come on. Get my jokes. Get my jokes. Get my jokes. Just for you, a little jump. All right, guys, listen. Listen up. Ah, we're going again. You thought that we are done? No, we are going again. We might have to finish earlier, but we are we're going again, so let's do this. Go. Oh, I grab wrong dumbbells. This is unacceptable. Alright, 
right now we're gonna go 25 into a squat ready go one two squeeze three four five six seven eight nine we're going we're going ten squat low ha ah, eleven oh god god is not gonna help me here i gotta do this ha ah. Nice. Oh, bend press. Chest press. Chest press. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We going. You know what's coming next? Bend over row. Bend over row. Oh God, the wind opened the door. Oh, what a nice draft here. Going. Come on, squeeze it. Concentrate. See how much knowledge did you get today? If you took it into your heart, it's gonna direct you in the right place. But you gotta take it in. A lot of people resist so many things in life. Trust me, I resisted myself. I had a situation just the other day. It was hard for me to let go of something. Super, super silly stuff to prove a point. But it's not worth it sometimes because it takes up your your time, your energy, time. It's just a waste. Certain things are uncontrollable, really. Oh, squat, what am I doing? So, all right, let's go. Should we hold it like this? So the bicep is activated a little bit more. Yeah, why not? Come on, pump it. You're gonna stretch on your own after. Squeeze, squeeze, quads, glutes, hamstrings. that they can do it. You just work things around and you just make it work, but at least you can work out. <sighs> no, I'm not doing 35 here. I'm doing 25. The same amount of weight that my nine-year-old son right now does eight repetitions on the chest press. This boy lifts and press 25 pounds in each hand. And you know why? Because he started when he was literally barely walking we implemented in him the value of the workout of training he truly loves it and 
he gets results, right? Like lifting heavier. Bicep curl. Bicep curl. All right, a little heavier. Why not? Why not? Did somebody send me something? Are you guys sending me something? Messages or just joining? I see you guys joining. So again, join me today, 2.15 Pacific, for the No Excuses Ladies, Facebook page created for you, ladies. Hey, listen, gentlemen, you want to join? You join. Good work. Not done. Kettlebell, but I want to go a little heavier. So, ooh, this is the next one. Are you kidding me? Ugh, how many I can do? Tyson did the maximum rep with this one. 106 pounds. 48 kilograms. That's more than a half of his. Oh God, this is more than his body. Right? Pounds. That's crazy. Three, two, one. Ah, let's do this. Tight, strong. Oh yeah. We struggle, yes, feels good. Ugh. And time. Whew. Bend overhead press. Whew. We are at the end. We are at the end. Friday, I'm gonna be here at 6.15 a.m. Pacific. I might even switch a little earlier, depends. So just watch out for the messages. Make sure that you are following me on Eva.Eckard1. Sometimes I go here, sometimes I go there. You gotta follow the accounts. That's the whole idea. Follow. Ah, uh, one more. Uh, awesome job. Bicep curl. Should feel like a good work right now. We're gonna be doing cardio. Cardio on, on, on Friday. Pump it up. Not done yet. Again, we are at the end. Time, deadlift, not going anywhere. Look, we are right here. Just set those up. Lift. The same motion, pay attention to your lower back, your glutes, your hamstrings, abs. Remember, you gotta do your own stretch. I am not giving you the stretch right now. You guys know how to stretch at this point. If you don't know, you gotta follow a little bit more videos. Repeat what we did at the warm up. I gotta get going. I have a busy, busy, busy work day. Everything scheduled by the hour 15 minutes, 20 minutes increments. Depends. I gotta follow with my schedule to complete many tasks to move the needle forward. Time. 
overhead press dumbbells. So those are final ones right now. I'm setting this up as well. Let's do this overhead press. Then dips, step ups. We are done, my friends. D O N E coming up. Time. Oh, what is this? Dips, dips, dips. Brain fog. Woo. Brain fog. Let's go. And listen, we're starting in two weeks. It's actually two weeks. April 3rd to 4th. Ah! Well, not exactly two weeks, it's Saturday. We're gonna be doing 24 hour biking and we're raising, raising the money for a charity. Big brothers, big sisters, another mom. Those are big, big, big challenges that our family has created for this year every single month is like a crazy challenge and and everybody are going the whole family right so we're trying to accomplish 24 hour biking how much can you how far can you ride within the 24 hours how far okay So the links is provided. The links are provided everywhere. You can start even donating now. This should not stop you from doing it. You can also do it yourself. Listen, you can go for 24 hours and get the link and try to help us to raise the money. You can also go for a few hours. I'm gonna be meeting with different people, different, different moms and parks, different times, just so they can get their kids out think about it what a great way of implementing in your kids uh, compassion and help to others right because they're doing something great for themselves and at the same time they can raise the money for charity so you can help us maybe you own a fitness maybe you own a fitness studio maybe you just want to get the link and do an event with your old gym and help us do this this is gonna be great Let's do this. Ah, and time. Ah, this was fantastic. High five, listen, stop clapping. High five, Jovic, right here, stop clapping. Listen, stop clapping. I always tell you this. When you watch a good performance, when you look at something, you start clapping. Isn't like the emotions in you like raise and you feel like great? Clap for yourself. This is great, you did it, this is awesome. So congratulations for accomplishing everything. Let's not, this is, again, this is different. Reach out to us, send us a message. A lot of you struggle. I look through these names here and I know a lot of you. I know a lot of you still, this day you struggle. Some of you gain so much weight that you are suffering in silence. And this is unacceptable. As a coach, I cannot allow you to do that. So you need to reach out because you have a support. I know that you think it's gonna be hard, but you've done it once, you can do it again. But the whole point now is to look at this different way, guys. Love the process. So many of you concentrate on the final goal. I wanna just lose 50 pounds, that's it, okay. But this is a road to walk to that goal. This is a road that will take you there. The road involves healthy habits, good nutrition, workouts, 
healthy mindset, healthy lifestyle. If you're not going to implement this, you are doomed for another failure, another hard work, concentrate only on your goals to give up again. No. You need to learn and you also need to understand your struggles. You need to be aware of things that cause you to reach out for more food. You need to understand that anxiety a lot of times in people, stressful situations, cause them to reach out to bad food. It's the, 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 the overweight, the, the, it doesn't come from air, but it comes from not eating, over binging, overeating. That's what it is. The amount of calories that you consume, your body cannot digest, it cannot burn. So usually stressful situations will cause you this. And remember, not eating is equivalent to overeating. It's the same effect. People gain weight, you are overweight, you don't feel good, you don't have a good energy. So make sure that you are sending me a message today, not tomorrow. Some, some of you probably thinking, yeah, one day I will do that when I'm ready. One day, one day, one day. You've been telling yourself one day for the past 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Let this, think about this for a second. Think about this for a second. So, listen up. Bike ride 24 hours. These workouts will be all about donation. Right now you will be seeing a link involved with every workout. So this is a new way of us supporting uh, different charities, okay? And of course, send us a message. Let's hook you up for the coaching. Talk to you guys soon. Have a no excuses Wednesday. And again, I'm going to clip here. Make sure you are, you are visiting me on my site. You're going to learn so many things in there, guys. So many things. You can ask me questions. You can ask questions directly to me. I've been in this business for over 20 years this is knowledge that you cannot find just with a with a quick click of a button. This takes years, years of experience and training people, and I can give it to you right there. So follow, send it, send, check out on the No Excuses page. I will see you today and see you Friday for another workout. No excuses.